in Mycenae, Greece. There is what's called the treasury of Atreyu. And right in there, there is one stone that has been hoisted over the entrance of that treasury, and it weighs an estimated 250 tons. It is perfect, just unbelievable. Now, we would have difficulties today moving that stuff around. Now, I'm not saying that we today cannot do it. I'm not saying that. But if we're struggling with our modern technology, is it really logical to suggest that our ancestors did this with pivots and with little ropes and with wooden rollers? But just how could ancient man have built such colossal structures? Were the stones really moved by beings with superhuman strength? Or might the builders have had access to an advanced, perhaps alien technology? For ancient astronaut theorists, the key might be found not by studying the laws of physics, but by exploring the interdisciplinary science of acoustics and the principle of acoustic levitation. This system is acoustic positioning device. And what happens inside, we create an acoustic force field. The force field is pushing everything toward the center. And the force field can rotate, the force field can oscillate. But is it possible that early builders had access to the kind of acoustic technology that would allow for the transportation and careful placement of megaton boulders and stone blocks. There are many ancient legends which suggest that some of the monuments were built with the help of acoustic levitation. What the local legend of Stonehenge talks about is that those big stones were transported by way of levitation by none other than Merlin the wizard. And he had a magical rod with which he pointed at the stones and they would levitate and position into place. It's a very fascinating story because we know that some of these stones have been transported there from as far away as 200 miles. And ancient legends are a bridge to finding what truly happened in our past. I mean, there's no way that human beings, even 100,000 of them, could pull these things. They've done experiments by putting hands around blocks. You can't get enough hands in there. You can't get 200,000 hands to lift a block. Did ancient aliens using anti-gravity and sonic levitation technology help early humans build the ancient wonders of the world?